Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. Why did Judas betray Jesus? It is a question that people have asked for 2,000 years. The scriptures don't give us every reason why, but at least one of the things that they say is the reason is greed. John says that when Judas had opportunity, he used to steal money from the pouch that, that kept the money that would be used in Jesus' ministry. And note the words that Matthew talks about when he says that Judas went to the high priest and his first question is, what will you give me? if I betray him. Clearly, greed and the accumulation of things for Judas himself is a focus of Judas's life. Possessions and money have a strong hold on all of us. And by degrees, by cut by cut by cut, little bit by little bit, we can see ourselves begin to go the way of Judas, where we get involved with Christ and we like Christ, but all of a sudden, the world and our things seem to be just a little bit more attractive. and We begin to have a heart that, that says, I'm willing to sell him out, even for just 30 pieces of silver, five weeks worth of wages. Imagine giving up the most important thing in the world for what you could acquire if you just waited a month and a week. As we are in this time, consider how your finances and your possessions relate to your life. Do you have integrity there? Do you have integrity with your tax returns? Do you have integrity with how you give to the church? Do you have integrity with how you give to people outside of the church? Or is your job about you and your accumulation of wealth? Let's pray. Lord, forgive me for the times when I have compromised my faith for the sake of having more. Help me to remember that my life does not consist in the abundance of my possessions. And help me to desire to serve you with all that I am and with all that I have. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen.